Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Mandy and welcome back to another What's for Dinner. Also going to need sea salt, black pepper to taste, a 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes, and then one and a half cups of crushed tomatoes, and one and a half cups of mozzarella cheese shredded. So I'm gonna first preheat my oven to 400 degrees. You're also gonna need a 14 ounce smoked sausage, bell pepper, onion, and garlic. I almost forgot you need two tablespoons of olive oil. You're going to heat the olive oil and the butter in a large skillet over medium heat. Once the butter is melted and the pan is heated, you then want to add the cabbage, the bell pepper, onion, garlic, sea salt, and black pepper. So while the veggies are sauteing, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up the sausage. We're going to bake this until all the cheese is nice and bubbly. It smells really good. I can't wait to try it. The kids are actually going to have hot dogs and chips because I use the hot sausage and they won't eat that. It's a little too spicy for them. It is Monday night and tonight we are just doing leftovers. I had some grilled chicken tenders last week, so I cut those up a little bit in chunks. We're gonna have chicken tacos. I know you guys have seen this one before, so I'm not going into full detail on this one, but I just have all the fixins cut up and everything. And this is some guacamole that I made a couple of days ago. The reason there is an onion in there there was a chef that actually told me this little trick. If you just take a slice of onion, put it in there, it keeps your guacamole from turning really brown. So we're gonna fix these chicken tacos on corn tortillas. And I always let my husband do that. We fry them in ghee. He does it so much better than I do. I get distracted and then end up burning them. But that is what is for dinner tonight. Hey guys, it is Wednesday night and tonight we are having enchiladas and this is a recipe that happens to be my husband's grandmother's recipe. She is going to be 94 this year and this is her recipe for enchilada sauce. It is so good. As you can see, it is a recipe that we use a lot. There are splatters all over it. <laughs> I really need to write it or type it out and print it out and then laminated or something or make me a recipe binder. So anyways, what you're going to need is three pounds of hamburger, three cans of tomato sauce, and then six cans 
of water. I usually do a little bit less, probably about five cans of water. I just put all of the spices in one little bowl, so you'll need one tablespoon of salt, one and a half teaspoons of pepper, five teaspoons of chili powder, and two teaspoons of cumin seed. We don't use the seed, I actually use the ground uh, cumin. And you'll also need four tablespoons of flour, but I'm actually using coconut flour just to cut down on the carbs and then four buds of garlic. And I always purchase the jar of minced garlic. It's just a lot quicker and easier for me. They really like garlic. So I tend to use a little bit more of the garlic than what is called for. And then you'll also need one medium onion chopped. And to actually make the enchiladas, we like to use the corn tortillas. I will actually be using my carb counter tortillas and my husband will use these. Okay, so you're first gonna brown the hamburger meat, and then you wanna add the onions, the garlic, and all the spices in a large pot. I like to brown it in this, and then I'll add everything to a big pot. These are the tortillas I'm gonna to use to make mine. This has only five grams of carbs for one. So I'm gonna actually have two of them because um, I haven't had that many carbs today. So it's Friday night and I went the easy route, ordered the kids pizza. And I got the antipasto salad. It is Saturday night and we are actually celebrating a birthday. So we had dinner out at Longhorn Steakhouse. I hope you guys enjoyed today's What's For Dinner. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and click on that red subscribe button and make sure you tap on the bell so that you receive notifications of when I post new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.